Hi everyone, this is Kristen and today I'm here with the Zag Pocket Keyboard. So this is a small folding keyboard. It can be used with smartphones and small tablets and it's just generally really, really cool. So as you can see, the Zag Pocket Keyboard folds to a very compact size. If we compare it to, say, my iPhone 7 Plus, it's really not much bigger. Obviously, it's somewhat longer. And uh, calling it a pocket keyboard is perhaps a little bit on the deceptive side. This will fit perfectly fine, for example, in a man's suit jacket pocket. But if you're trying to put this in your jeans pocket, you're going to look kind of funny. But still, this is a really very small form factor. Um, it's great for any any kind of bags or handbags or anything like that and um, you can certainly fit this in many types of jacket pockets not just the ones found in men's suits. Before you start using the Zag Pocket keyboard you first need to charge it up. This charges with a micro USB cable. Here is our port opening over here. This will last for a three month period of time assuming one hour of daily use. Obviously if you're using it for more than an hour a day the uh, charge is not going to last so long. One nice thing about this is that when it is in a folded position, it is automatically off. It turns on when you open it up. You can see that little green light turns on. That means your power has now been restored. This part back here is simply the stand. Keeps everything nice and secure. Putting this down, you can see what's really quite a nice little arrangement. And then we finally have over here in the front little stand for your iPhone or other smartphone. This will work with both Apple and Android devices. Pairing your iPhone with a Zag Pocket keyboard is really pretty straightforward. You need to first of all turn on your Bluetooth and then you need to put yourself into pairing mode which you do with a function and Bluetooth key. Notice that the light to the right of my iPhone is now flashing. Before you choose to connect to the Zag Pocket keyboard, you need to indicate whether you are connecting an Apple device or an Android. So it's function I for Apple or function A for Android. Wait till it starts flashing blue again like that. And then you can select the Zag Pocket keyboard as your device. Overall, I have found the um, pairing to be quite robust. Haven't had any issues where it becomes unpaired. So as you can see, the shelf here works quite well with different sizes of phones and phone cases. We've got a naked Samsung here. It's going kind of all the way down into the slot here, my Galaxy S7. Um, when I put this with my OtterBox Symmetry case, in here. It's just kind of sitting up on the shelf, but it still seems uh, quite stable. doesn't feel like it's going to fall out. I don't know that I'd want to get much bigger than this, but overall this feels like quite a nice stable arrangement. The experience of using the Pocket Keyboard is about what you'd expect. This is a little bit smaller than a standard keyboard. It's about 85% the size of a standard keyboard in terms of the typing area. So things are a little closer together than you would expect, but you get used to it pretty quickly. We have good key action on here and everything seems very nicely put together. One nice thing about this is that you can use copy and paste keyboard shortcuts, which is a real pleasure. So overall, this is just a very, very nice little product. So putting this away, when you close it up, this automatically, as I said before, will shut off the battery to save battery life. Once you have this folded up, the magnets do a great job in keeping it closed. You can kind of shake it about and it's still not going to come unfolded. This is also quite lightweight. It's not going to add much weight or certainly much size to any pocket or bag that you put it in. Overall, I just think it's a really nice product. The only thing that I've noticed about it, which I should mention, is that it's a little bit of a fingerprint magnet because of the finish. It does tend to get a little smudgy looking, but that's entirely cosmetic and has nothing to do with the operation of this device. I just think it's really nice overall. So Zag has this retailing for $69.99. It's available directly from Zag as well from other retailers. Many thanks to Zag for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about this product, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please consider it. I do try to put out two to three videos a week on accessories for iPhone 7 Plus, iPad Air 2, and Samsung Galaxy S7, and I would love to have your support. Again, this is Kristen, and this is the Zag Pocket Keyboard for smartphones and small tablets. Have a fantastic day.